guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already noticed, I went on and changed my name to Tech Heaven. Hopefully you guys like that that channel name. I just needed to change it from my first and last name because you guys don't need to be known all my business, you know? Um, but yeah, so um, before I forget, I would also like to just thank all of the people that have already subscribed to my channel, that has already liked, watched, or commented on any of my videos that I've posted so far. Thank you guys very much for showing support, for um, taking the chance and watching any of the videos that I do have up there also. So thank you guys very much. Hopefully you'll stay tuned throughout my entire tech journey and also self-development along with a little bit of uh, travel vlogs, you know, every now and again. But um, without further ado, this video will be based on just reasonings on why I did not go with other boot camps like careerist and, um, you know, end up going with course careers. So if you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe just so that you keep up with all of the videos that I have um, upcoming in the future. And um, don't forget to share this video with someone, anyone that you know that you think might want to join tech. Let's get into the video. So, like I was saying in the intro, this is just going to be my input on why I chose course careers instead of careerists because I did do research for both um, boot camps and I did speak to a sales rep at careerists. So I just wanted to give my um, experience on both sides on what the payments look like, why I went with course careers instead of careers, kind of like just a little insight. All right. So let's get to the next slide. So if you don't know, Course Careers is an online platform that offers courses and one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you break into the tech industry. They do offer, um, I think it's about four courses at the moment, but they do funnel out courses every now and again. So the courses do change, but I think they have, um, excuse me, they do have technology sales, digital marketing, customer success, and I think IT um, with the Careers. Um, it's an online career training platform that aims to help individuals with little to no previous experience transitioning into careers in tech, right? Like I said, I'm not too like crazy on careers only because I did not go with that choice. Obviously, I went with course careers, but they do have courses ranging from manual QA to UI slash UX design. If that's something that you guys would be interested in, they do have um, those on the career side that they do offer. So what does the price look like on both sides? Okay, we're going to keep it real. No sugar coating. There's no like, you know, like no fake nothing. This is all coming from both websites from Course Careers and Careers. So none of this is fabricated. All right, just to let you know. Boom. So course careers, as you can see, right, they do a one-time payment of $500. And that's if you choose to do the one-time payment. I spoke about it in my last video. Then they do have a payment plan. Your payment plan, you, um, obviously it's taxed a little bit more, but obviously because you're on a payment plan, they're going to charge a little bit more, but you do get a chance to get, um, your money back guaranteed after 14 days of you not using the course. Let me make that clear of you not using the course, because I thought that, you know, in the beginning, when I first took the course that I was able to either get my money back or switch to a different course. If I had already started, um, in the course that I originally chose, which is tech sales, but that was not the case. So, you do get a chance to get your money back if you choose not to not to go with um, course careers at all. If you do choose to go with course careers, I do have a code right here. My code is Heaven50, and you can get fifty dollars off with that, regardless of with whichever payment option you choose for course careers. So just keep that in mind. Also, 
And then for careerists, um, their prices range from $2,950 to $8,500. I did see um, one with a little bit more, but I think that was like a package bundle deal thing that they had going on. So yeah, this is what I basically seen for the basic courses that they offered. Um, they do give you guys option as far as one-time payment loans and payment plans. And they do, you do have the 12 month money, money back guaranteed. Basically, I'm not too sure on whether, you know, if you was to start the course and, you know, start taking it or whatever the case may be, if they would be giving you back your money after the 12 months or whatever the case may be, I'm just not too sure on careerist side. So like I said, I just did my research. Um, you know, and spoke to a sales rep around the time. And once I did that, I just knew it wasn't for me. Let's just, let's just move on. So, um, the course is offered for both boot camps. I know that I spoke about it just a little bit, um, briefly in the previous slide, but I'm going to break it down completely. So, you know, exactly what courses is on each boot camp site, course careers and uh, and careers. Damn, that thing is a tongue twister. Um, yeah, both on course careers and careers. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, like price comparison and everything, especially on what I've seen. I was just surprised. So, boom. This side is course careers, obviously. The course is $500 one-time payment, $650 if you do a payment plan. Keep that in mind. Um, they do offer tech sales, and that average salary for tech sales is $60K to $80K plus. And I put plus on each of them because of the simple fact that um, a lot of the positions is base plus commissions. So you have the ability to make way more than what the base what the average salary is for um technology sales it even ui ux design so um also keep that in mind too whenever you're going into any of these you know that that number that you see there is not necessarily your cap especially working in tech if you choose to do like a commissions only job then your commission, you got a commission's only job. You got to work to make that money. But if you do a base and salary, at least you know you'll be getting a guaranteed pay plus, you know, all the hard work, the extra hard work that you're going to be putting in. Then they have um, IT, which is information technology. Average salary is 40K to 60K plus. Then you have UI, UX design, which is user interface and user experience design, just in case, you know, you didn't know. Average salary for that is 50K um, to 80K. Like I said, I'm putting the plus there because you can make more from each of these courses. Then you have customer success. And the salary for that one is 50K to 65K plus. Okay. Now on career side, as you can see, um, I did let you guys know the price range for the course starting out was $2,950 to like $8,500 plus, okay? Because I did see a course that was a little bit, like a lot more. It was just crazy. Um, but the courses that they do offer is data analysis. Excuse me, y'all, I'm messing up. That data analytics. Ooh, mm, that thing messed me up. Um, <laughs> their average salary is 62K to 121K. I'm not too sure on whether these positions is the same as far as like base plus commissions. Um, but this is what I got from the careers website. Then they do tech support. That's 35K to 58K. Systems engineering which is 70K to 100K, excuse me. And then you have UX design, which is one of, um, basically one of the same ones that Course Careers offers on this side. And their base salary that they give is 62K to 150K. 
Then you have sales engineer, which is average salary is 75K plus. Really, when I was looking at this, I didn't see anything for the average salary on their website. So I had to search it up. So that's why I put 75K plus because 75K was kind of like their base. Um, and then you have manual QA, which the average salary is 70K to 105k and then you have qa's qa automation average salary is 107k i had to do my research for this one too so if i'm wrong for those you know for those two the qa automation and the sales engineer please let me know in the comment section below because like i said i did do my own personal research just to see what the salary was because they did not show it to me on careers okay now um you guys can kind of see why I went with course careers. When I initially spoke to the gentleman at careers, he told me 3000 and then with a discount, they would offer me a discount. Basically, that would be like 2500 right? I could not afford that. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't afford it at the time. I'm just, I was broke. Life was life and I was broke, you know, excuse me, things was hitting the fan and I needed to make sure that I had everything together instead of paying $2,500 on a course, I could take that and invest in something else, um, maybe for a low cost, which, you know, I did some research, saw a couple of videos with course careers and I, instead I just went with that one, right? Now, if you are someone who don't see, you know, a course that you might take on course career side and you're willing to go with course career, um, with careers, then you can go ahead and do that. You get what I'm saying? You got the money, baby. You rich. But for those who don't, at least there's a cheaper option. You know, you get a cheaper option for, you know, for you to break into tech. And it's a lot of people that honestly didn't even know about course careers. I'll be real with you. Um, there's a lot of people that I know that don't know anything about course careers, but they know some somewhat sort of about other boot camps, you know, just on it might get you into this industry if you pay this amount of, you know, but at the same time, you can't beat the price $500 and almost, almost $9,000. Let's be real. Okay. Almost $9,000. So yeah, you get my point. Then, um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys some insights on what the course, the courses will be offering as far as um, how flexible they are. Now, on this side, you have course careers, and then on this side, you have careers. So, the course for course careers is self-paced, okay? Um, each of the course, you're not, they don't need for you to be online, on time, at this time, you know, just at a specific moment. You don't necessarily have to be online. This is also paced with it. So you're able to sign on to the course whenever you want to, wherever you want to, and just go ahead and, you know, learn the material, taking everything however you want to. Right now, with careerists, when I did do my research, um, and I, like, like I said, right, I did speak to a sales rep for careerists, and I needed to be online at a certain time, you know, for a couple hours out of the week. So it could be six to like 10 hours out of the week, just, you know, being on the clock with them basically. So I would have to try to fit that around my schedule. Um, and I was working overnight at the time. And I think their courses, if I'm not mistaken, is from like 1030 to like 1130 or something like that, or like 1030 to like 12. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, for example, like the QA automation course is 15 weeks. There's a specific start date and a time. You must be logged in at a certain time every week for a certain amount of hours. Some people don't have the option to do that. And because course careers were so flexible, it was a little bit easier for me. I was able to work my nine to five and do the things that I wanted to do personally and still be able to go back to the course and you know, kind of focus on all of that. So yeah, that was a pro for me. Why did I choose course careers and why? Oh, excuse me. 
what course I chose and why. So obviously I touched on some points in the beginning. Um, affordability. Your girl was broke. So honestly, I was I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I was broke. So paying three thousand dollars or twenty five hundred for a course that I found for five hundred dollars. Listen, I wasn't gonna argue. Um, it was self paced. Like I said, I was working a nine to five and I needed my eight hours to be <laughs> at a job so that I'll you know, so yeah, you get it. The courses change sometimes, so that also gives you an option to choose um, different courses. If you don't want to do like tech sales or the IT, you can wait until another one funnels in and then you get to choose from that course. And if you do choose to sign up for even just um, like make an account with course careers, you do get like emails when they do create other courses. So that's also something that's good. There's one-on-one -on -one that's offered, free and paid options. Um, you can choose which co which coach you would like to work with. And from there, um, you know, they'll help you with resume help. They'll help you with your LinkedIn, interview prep, all of the above, and so on. Now, um, Course Careers also does that as far as helping you fix, set, well, set up your resume at the end of the course and also teach you how to, you know, set up your LinkedIn. Um, they also help you land a job after graduating. Yes, careers does that also, but I'm talking about what course careers does, okay? Um, they, they do also give you the ability to get paid from um, an affiliate program, right? So a lot of people don't necessarily talk about you know, getting paid through course careers. But if you sign up for the course and you finish the course, you can go ahead and use the affiliate links that they give you to make money from it. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Use my code heaven50 for $50 off. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. But yeah, so affordability, self pace. It was it gave me you know different opportunities. It's one on one, free and paid. You get resume help, LinkedIn help. Um, they help you land in a job, ability to get paid through their affiliate program. That's a wide range of things. So you don't necessarily have to be an SDR to make money through course careers. That's all I'm gonna say. And just some tips before I go. Just because I gave my own opinion on careers and course careers doesn't mean that you shouldn't do your own research. Always, always, always make sure that you look into every single thing that I'm saying. Even if you want to fact check me, go ahead and do so. But make sure you do your own research and don't just join, you know, because you hear everybody talking about it or because it's a trend, you know. Um, the more knowledge you have, the better. And don't go into financial debt. Take on what you can handle. Okay? If you have not already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for the people that have already subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And for the people that did comment in the comment section below, thank you very much. Hopefully, this content is helpful. Hopefully, I can continue to create more videos like this. And if there's other videos that you guys would like to see, please make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for sticking um, through this entire video. Hopefully this was helpful.